All right, welcome back to the final edition of the Lee W. Mallon Show. Just Aww. got about uh, 35 <laughs> minutes left. Just heard Phil Collins with Who Said I Would off the album No Jacket Required by Atlantic. For that, The Proclaimers with I'm Going to Be 500 Miles and Kiss with Detroit Rock City kicked off this block. Up next, ABC, Sting, and 7 Off My iPod. And then that should take us to the final song. And then I have a uh, special message for everyone listeners, everyone listening, everyone that has listened, and just everyone in general. You'll like it. I'm going to hear, hear this later, right? Yes, we're going to hear this later. Quest lines <laughs> open, 937-775-5555. Or if you're on the campus of Wright State, 5555. Woot woot. And uh, going back to the memories here, I know I... That's been the theme today, but there's a lot of uh, memories I laid behind here, and a lot of good times, some bad. Uh, but I'm focusing on the good ones today. I have uh, three out, of, three out of the God. I've lost count how many sportscasters I had. Uh, Aaron's back from work briefly. Briefly, James, He's Brad, chilling out, still here. Mm-hmm. and Leandra's here too. You'll never Just leave, here. James. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to go to Springfield tonight, so yes, he does have to leave. No, I mean like the station forever. Oh. He'll be a permanent fixture. They'll have a, they'll have a shrine for like a little shrine for him in the, in the lobby. Ashes up there, like the <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, Lee, you're, since you're the host, give him the backstory about the ashes. All right, I learned a story from the old general manager, Jonathan Gallion. Uh, if you're listening, hi. Uh, let's see. <laughs> If you look at our vinyl section, our vinyl shelf, if you look at the chili cook-off trophy to Which the right... Which he won, by the way. Yeah, Jonathan won that. was it? Third place, wasn't it? Third place, yes. Or else it wouldn't fit up there. Um, <laughs> it was good chili, too. Very good chili. It was uh, pork something and something. <laughs> good memory. Yeah. Do you remember what it was? No, I don't, but I know... Hush your mouth, then. <laughs> it tasted if delicious, though. If you, if you don't remember what it was, you can't... You can't bug me. All I remember was it tasted delicious. I remember what it was. What was what it? Was it? <laughs> uh, it was chili. <laughs> <laughs> You're helpful. You're really helpful. Yes. <laughs> hey, when is your first to show? I wonder. When, when is my first to show? <laughs> okay, back to the shelf. If you look to the right of the trophy right now, you'll see a little uh, film container where they used to store the uh, film for cameras. That is the ashes of a former general manager, I believe, who died in a car accident and said, hey, I want to leave my ashes in here, which is very cool. Kind of creepy, too. I forget who it was, though. No, it's not haunted. Well, But still. (laughs) (laughs) James, Actually, I've been here late at night a few times, and I've heard bangs and things coming around out here, and uh, usually I think it's the Janet... Yeah, we have a, and there's a such, dead guy in here. Geez. I never knew that. Yeah. <laughs> You're just one paranoid dude, man. <laughs> and now Brad will never do his show again just because. Yeah. Thanks a lot. You just I'm, scared yeah. Brad out I, of the I, station. I, know, I welcome ghosts, so they can't hurt you. <laughs> I, I welcome the, ghosts onto my the show. Ghost they bring ex- they, yeah. they bring exciting <laughs> stories. <laughs> ghost, like, how can they hurt you? <laughs> so Brad, or so Brad, or the ghost, <laughs> what do you have to say? Great commentary. Great, Great commentary. commentary. Great commentary. That'd be my new co-host. <laughs> like, wherever you are, I have a mic open for you. So whenever you want. It's Ghost Snappa. Just, just don't lie to yourself. Anytime. It's Ghost Snappa. <laughs> hey, the uh, the uh, <laughs> trophy was won my junior year. You know, my first year sports director, I think. Yeah, I and think so. And I don't think we broadcasted homecoming that year just because we were told there was no place to seat us for soccer. Which kind of sucked because that was my main plan. Get rid of high school football and just do soccer because Wright State didn't have it at the time. But then I realized, you know, football is an American tradition. If you screw with that, you're going to lose a lot of listeners. So I just said, Fairborn football it is. And then next year we do Wright State football and the rest was history. So anyway, a lot of good memories here. I remember doing a lot of Right from the Starts where we get uh, high school seniors and juniors to check us out and... You know, see if it's the right fit for him. James has done uh, numerous right from the starts. I don't know if anyone else has. I don't yeah. think so, because... The yeah. thing I remember the most is people always asking us where the restrooms are. <laughs> hey, where's the bathroom? It's right yeah. here. Hey, dude, where's the union? You're standing in it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them Big were directions, but we did... outside. Doesn't say student union. Okay, anyway. 
<laughs> Actually, there used to be a map right in front, but they took it down along with the uh, sign in front, too, where it said, Welcome to Wright State Student Union. And to the right would be a map with the old uh, Biohazard W symbol on it. Hurrah. And they took both of those down for some reason. I think Aaron's waving. All right. Yeah, because I'm going to head out. Sorry for interrupting, but oh. all I got to say is, did a heck of a job here, and uh, g- uh, good luck in your coming endeavors. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Aaron Bots, everybody. See you guys later. Uh, next week, 7th level will be on. Sorry for the plug. Uh, 6 to Six. 8 p.m. here on the station. See Six. you guys later. 7th Bye, level. <laughs> because the 6th level was just too easy. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. God, I'm going to miss this place. A lot, of, uh, <laughs> a lot of good people. I know I said this 70 billion times. And I know I should be focusing on memories on my show, but I really don't have any. Uh, oh, actually, I was going to say some of the weird stuff I did on my show before I said, you know what, screw it. I'm just playing music. <laughs> actually, had a putt-putt in here. What? Actually, had I brought a putt-putter, and I brought a golf ball, and we actually set up a little miniature crappy course. And, uh, yeah, we played uh, putt-putt. Huh. Uh, also play Plinko in here, too. That's kind of fun. <laughs> but yeah, we did a lot of weird stuff in the show. I mean, stuff I kind of look back and it's like, really? What was I thinking? But at the same time, it helped me mature, so I'm not going to go into that. That's why I'm not playing a lot of the clips. I do remember we always used to, um, I don't know, do like, not skits, but like, I guess I guess skits would be the right thing to say. Just because they were just random things. We say, now we're at a hospital. Ow! What do you mean, ow? <laughs> <laughs> My bum! Meanwhile, at the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, uh... It was weird. I look back and it was weird. I still have the clips. I'm not going to upload them anywhere just because I just want them on my iPod. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, after after about the middle of the sophomore year, I tried to break away from it and just play music and just do what I want. And I think that turned out okay. I think, I don't know. I never heard a lot of people saying, hey, I listen to your show, it's good stuff. So, if people might think it's good stuff, people might think it's bad stuff. You know what? It's, it's their opinion, and I respect it. Just as long as they're not saying, hey, why can't you read? Why can't you talk right? You suck. Get off the air. <laughs> I've actually had that happen once. Wow. And I think that was the turning point. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to talk anymore. Because I, I, that was one of my bad days where I was stumbling English words. And I was like, yeah, it, it was kind of disheartening, really. <laughs> I know. I'm supposed to get over that. But well, you know, we all do that. I mean, I've, I've been, when I was training with Josh, when I've done it on my own, you had to come in here one time because I, in my infinite you know, I have blonde highlights in my hair now, so I guess it's legit. You can say, you can make the jokes. Um, I didn't have my mic turned up for whatever reason. I was like, okay, I've That's got. That's happened to me so yeah. many times. Oh, yeah. And it's like, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm on top of this. I turn my, I, I play everything off my iPod so I don't have to switch around from about thou- a thousand different things. And uh, I thought I had everything going, ready to go. Lee bangs, Lee, Lee's banging on the door. And he runs in and turns up my mic. It's like, oh, so it's been like silence for the last fifteen seconds or so. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, you called it. You called right. in one time. It's like your mic's not on, or like, <laughs> like your mic's turned down. <laughs> yeah, because I heard the music and it's like, oh, Brad, turn your mic on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't. Man. I can't. I, so I everyone this. has a broadcast. Like oh yeah. I, happens, I, to, happens to the best of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know this is sound kind of snobbish, but I don't know how many times I said, hey, you know your mic's not on or anything. You know, I just want to help people out, and I just want them, you know, do the best. And it has, totally. I mean, mm-hmm. I know I, I kind of am repeating myself again here, but you trained me, and I wouldn't know half of the stuff I know about the board or anything had it not been for the training. Just That's like sports casting, so. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so... James, I really can't say that I taught you in engineering. That was all you, man. No, yeah, I, <clears throat> I already was used to stuff like this, so. So I can't, I can't mm-hmm. claim that. Well, I, I did help you once when you were training. Yeah, because I did because uh, yeah. I think you were sick or something. Yeah. And and I taught him automation, and that was uh, during the days you had to hit scroll lock twice and up or down. Yeah. And now it's you well, know. Well, I could still do that. Just we 
decided that DJs shouldn't have access to those systems anymore. Fun times. Technology's really increased here. Now we got yeah. two screens, which all three of you would be able to enjoy. I mean, James, you set it up, so, mm-hmm. you know. But anyway, you two will be able to enjoy it. Um, yes. It's kind of, yeah. it's kind of uh, weird for me because I'm always used to this screen. Everything's on here. Right. Now I got over here, and it's really convenient with the clips. Sure. So Let's see. What else? Nothing interesting to talk about on Twitter, so I'll just keep going. <laughs> uh, Brian just texted me, said he's on his way, so prepare or get ready for the spin cycle. It's the year-end edition. Starts at 3. So tune into that. Brian will have a special show, and I should look at the event before I talk about it, shouldn't I? It's the year-end edition. We'll do great endings. This is all in quotes. That was our theme, so sound off with your sound idea, song ideas. Ugh. Song ideas and requests. Give them to me in the next 24 hours and be included in this special show. And not a lot of ideas, but still. A lot of people are intending, so hopefully it's a very good show for Brian. He'll be coming in. Hopefully he'll speak about some memories before we have to call it a day. I haven't played a lot of songs today, but back in the day it used to be all talk. I used to have like sections of... I think the longest I ever had was like 50 minutes of talk. I don't have it recorded, and this was when the Radio Rowdies were, you know, coming in after, uh, what was that event called? Uh, Ra- Raider? No. I forget what it is. I, I can't believe I'm saying that because I'm the oldest uh, Raider Rowdies. One of the oldest. I'm one of the elders of Raider Rowdies. One of the founding members. Surprisingly, I was never an officer, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Because yeah. I always say, this is uh, when the games are, you know, here you go, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I remember that. I remember that show. We had people calling in from the radio rally. He's like, yeah, this is so awesome. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun. I didn't record it. Either I didn't record it or I didn't save it. So I don't remember what happened to it, but it was a good... This was before I became sports director, though, so... Going back in time a little bit. Let's see. <laughs> I know my first year as sports director, I got a uh, got an award for co-director of the year with uh, Jonathan. Uh, that next year, we didn't have any, but I don't know who will want it. Uh, this year, I don't know. Maybe there's like a third director of the year, like one <laughs> third director of the year. That's me, one definitely. Third, I'm the only one that served one third of a year. Huh. What are you one, talking about? One third. <laughs> one third. I'm so awesome like that. I get a one third of a trophy. We smashed huh. this award for you. It's uh, roughly around one third a piece. Here's the base of the trophy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't touch the edges. They're sharp. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now I don't do it for. I don't do my job for the awards. I do it because I'm serious about my work and I'm being paid to do something. That's something my parents have instilled in me and hopefully people can see that. And hopefully future employers are listening to this saying, hey, that's pretty cool. We're hiring you right now. But that's just wishful thinking to my part. But there's more opportunities for me to do. I know there's something out there and I'm going to keep trying. But for now, I'm saying my goodbyes to WWSU. So we have... uh, one more block of music, and then we're playing one more song. So we got about four songs left. And then I have a special message to everyone who's listened to my games, who's listened to my show, or just, you know, who's listened in general. But I'm not going to say what it is, so we will go back to the music. Here's ABC with Be Near Me, the Munich Disco Mix, and this has to be one of my favorite mixes from ABC. I don't know what it is. I like electronic dance music. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like not a lot of people do, and it's just you know, the stereotype is all you all all you hear is in dance clubs. So, mm, mm, mm. It's kind of <laughs> cool. So mm, mm, mm. <laughs> that'll be the way to go. <laughs> all right. And afterwards, I got Sting with Fields of Gold, which is off the Ten Summoners Tales album released by AM Records. It's WWSU 106.9, Fairborn Dayton, the very last show of the Lee W. Mountain Show. Stay tuned. <laughs> 